Hi guys, I'm so excited for today's video because as you can already tell from the thumbnail and the title of the video, I'm doing another collaboration with Udensai, which is one of my favorite brands. And I couldn't believe it when they reached out again and they asked if I wanted to do a round two collaboration with Judy and Tina from the Fancy Face. If you've been around for a while, you probably know that we did a collaboration with Udensai where we all made a palette each with them. I wanna say it's been two years now, maybe three. I mean, time flies. I have no perception of time anymore. It feels like ever since COVID, everything is just kind of been a blur. And I'm like, wait, it's been a year already. <laughs> so maybe it's been three years. But anyway, we're doing a round two and I literally cannot wait. I will leave Tina and Judy's reveal video down below. We're going to talk about everything today. I'm going to show you all of the products. All of these are going to be launching on February 14th. So on Valentine's Day at 7 a.m. PST, I will have all of the information down below in my description box. Codes do not apply uh, for the collection, but if you want to pick up other things from the website, you can still use a code. Honestly, I would recommend don't use our codes, use someone else's codes because we already make some money on this collaboration. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. I cannot wait to show you. So we have all done a palette each as well as three lip products. So there are going to be different formulas depending on what we have chosen there will also be a couple of uh, free gifts with purchase which it kind of depends what you end up buying but there's going to be keychains and scarves and magnets and a lot of good stuff i'm going to have all of the pricing on the screen for you feel free to pause it if you want to see how much everything costs i really want this video to be as short as possible because i don't like when other people do reveal videos and they're like 30 minutes long i'm just like show me the products that's all i care about let me know when it launches and so we're just going to go ahead and jump straight in. So I'm of course going to be showcasing my own products and then I will also have a video up with their products in two days after you see this video. So let's go ahead and start with the palette. So my palette is inspired by Norse mythology, which is what uh, the brand is all about. Now, if you saw my last palette, which was the Giant Wolves palette, Sadly, this is not coming back, but this was the first palette that I did with them. And I kind of wanted to stay on sort of the same theme. So my palette is inspired by Jormungandr, which is a giant snake. And I'll be completely honest, when I was searching for inspiration for this and I saw some photos of this creature, I was like, oh my God, I'm sold. That is so cool. I love him. I want to make a palette after him. And it really wasn't deeper than that. So. This is inspired by Jormungandr, which is also called the Mighty Monster. And I thought Mighty Monster would go nicely with my giant wolves. So introducing the Mighty Monster palette. Ah, I'm so excited about this because I feel like the color story of this palette is very much what I've been into in the past year or so. And it's just a good reflection of I feel like how my makeup has evolved throughout the years. I used to be so into color and I wouldn't wear anything but color. And I even remember one time I said, if I ever come out with a, a palette, there's not going to be a single brown in sight. And here I am putting two neutral, actually three neutral shades in a palette that I'm doing as a collab. So <laughs> I feel like that says a lot about, you know, how far I've come or however you want to call that. But I really see the beauty in every color. And even though I have my preferences, I wanted to create something that was very versatile, something that's easy to use, but still fun. So that is how I ended up with this color story. And also it's just great for spring, you know, like I just thought that this would be really, really fun to play with. And I hope you like it as much as I do. I literally cannot wait for all of you to get your hands on this palette and to try it out and just experience the joy of this as much as I have because I have had such a good time with this palette like you don't understand this palette is my baby and oh my god like this isn't like trust me when I say I've used this so much because this I've only had this palette for like two weeks now and the samples that they sent me I almost have pan in some of them and <laughs> like I don't get pan in eyeshadows. It's also why I kind of stopped doing my makeup diaries for a while because all I wanted to do was play with my samples that I've had for quite a long time now with this collab. So yeah, there's so much you can do with this. I really hope you guys like it as much as I do. Um, I also have three lip products that I want to show you that I have decided on to come out with, with this collection. And these are colors that are very wearable. I am not someone who likes very dramatic over the top lip colors. I tried to be that person for a little while and I've just realized it's not me. I also don't really like matte lipsticks. So it was funny when they reached out, they're like, okay, you can all choose um, a lipstick in each formula. <laughs> and none of us did that. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like we all just have our preferences. So I'm going to quickly go through them. The first shade is a glow formula. And this is more of a, 
like a sheer lip gloss. I'm gonna do a live swatch of this right now so you can see it because I feel like it's gonna be a little bit easier to show you like how it actually goes on. And I'm of course going to show you me wearing it as well, but here is the shade all swatched out. So it's sort of like an orangey nudie shade with some sparkle in it. This is definitely the sheerest out of the colors. It looks really, really nice with a lip liner. I do always use a lip liner with any lip product ever because I have very small lips and I prefer to like overline a little bit because I don't like the way that glosses, especially sheer products look on my top lip. So. I do use this with a lip liner and I also use uh, all of these other ones with a lip liner as well. So let's move on to the shine formula. Now these are my absolute favorites. I love these. I have to be honest and say that even though all three of these lip products are my babies, I do have a favorite and it's the shade called Snake Kiss. Like this shade is literally my perfect nude gloss. It is so pretty and I love it with a nude lip liner it is what i'm wearing today and it's just my my go-to like the amount of times that i have used this gloss i don't think you understand like i have tubes and tubes of this that they've sent me as like samples and i just i love this one i love it so much if you're someone who likes the same kind of lip products that i like i know you're gonna love this it also wears really nicely it's not sticky but it's pretty long lasting so Take that for what you want. It's like I said, it's not sticky at all, but you can definitely get quite a long wear time out of it. And it just looks really, really nice. The last lipstick is also one of the shine formulas, which I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. It is my favorite. And I really wanted to do sort of a pink shade without it being like too pink. So this is the shade Mythic Rose. And you can see when I swatch it, it's not like super pink, but it can lean pink depending on the lip liner that you wear it with. If you wear it with a... Uh, nude lip liner it's gonna look more like a nudie pink but if you wear it with a pink lip liner it's gonna look very pink so I love the shade so much too and I feel like it goes so nicely with uh, you know like pink and purple looks and even neutral looks if you just want something on your lips and you don't have very heavy eye makeup it looks amazing and yeah I just I'm so obsessed with all of these three colors and I've been wearing them so so much and I hope that you guys love them as much as I do because they really are amazing and the colors are so versatile and yeah I'm just so excited for all of you guys to at least as some of you that are going to be buying this collection to try it because it is it's so good and I'm so proud and I just think everyone's gonna love it. I hope everybody's gonna love it. And if you don't love it, that's okay too, because I love it and that is the only thing that really matters. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow's video is going to be an eight look video with the palette. I was gonna do 10, but honestly, I'm in the middle of moving right now. And so like everything is kind of chaotic and busy. And so I thought eight would be enough for now. And then I'm gonna show you obviously more looks uh, as we kind of go, because this collection is going to be available for six months. It is limited edition. And I know people don't like to hear that but with collaboration when there are contracts in play that's just kind of how it is like you can't just like come out with something and then have it be limited collection and then bring it back like that just doesn't really happen so just know you have about six months to buy these and if it sells out it will be restocked unless it sells out very close to it being discontinued so you have time don't freak out. You don't need to buy it on launch if you don't want to. We do have plenty of stock. We don't plan on it selling out right away, but you never know what's going to happen. So I'm going to quickly show you Tina's palette and Judy's palette just so you get an idea of what the rest of the collection looks like. But I really wanted to focus on my products first because, I mean, I created them and that's kind of what I'm here for. And then they're going to do their own palettes more justice. But Judy's palette is the Spring Dragon palette, which is such a fun like very ethereal, romantic, pastel-y color story. It is very out of my comfort zone, but it's very Judy. And I really love how all of the palettes, you can really see us as creators in them. And I think it's very easy to see if you watch us, like who came out with which palette. And I really love that about all of these. And I also really like Tina's palette. I think she did a really good job with this. It is Colorful but neutral at the same time. There's a lot you can do with this. I love the name of Earthwood too. I think it's also, this palette is also just very her. And I can't wait to see what they do with their own palettes because I feel like they'll be doing their palettes more justice than I will. I am going to have a video up with both of these palettes and doing a look with each of them in two days so you can see what I end up doing with them. But definitely go ahead and check out their videos because like I said, they're gonna be featuring them 
uh, way better than I ever would and will. So I think I'm gonna just keep it to this. I really wanted this to be like fairly short, like I said, short and to the point, show you the products, tell you when they launch. And I would love to hear what you guys think down below. Doing these reveal videos are always so just like nerve wracking because you don't want to be like too excited. Like think Jaclyn Hill where she's like so over the top and like, oh my God. And you're like, stop it. <laughs> like I don't want people to. <laughs> you know, have that reaction when I'm being excited about a product, but I'm clearly very excited about this and very passionate about this. So I'm gonna leave it here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I will have their reveal videos up on the screen if you wanna go check them out. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in tomorrow's video.